Hey everyone, welcome. I'm Heather, I'm Event Yogi. This is Monday Motivation. It's a short practice. I'm gonna jump right in. Come onto your mat and join me in ride. All right, so come onto your mat. Come onto your ragdoll, feet about hips width distance. Fold forward, grab your elbows or let your hands dangle. And hips width distance is just a loose guideline for stability and support. You might have your feet closer together or farther apart. You can really feel it out. And the hand variation. Sometimes it works better, just let your hands rest on the ground or a block. I like to bring opposite hand into the crook of opposite elbow, so my hands are supported. I'm supporting myself. You're supporting yourself in your choice to be here today. Maybe a little bit of movement. Definitely connecting with the movement of your breath. Take a big breath in. Then a long breath out. And if this forward fold doesn't work, you can always stay in more of a halfway lift. Feel it out. Feel your body. Feel your breath. Right? Feel your intention. You, you are right here, right now. Hopefully, you're right here, right now in your body, feeling your breath. And if you're not right here, right now, if you're off somewhere in your head, this practice will help you to get into your body, get into your breath, this moment, your strength, your power. Take a big breath in, then a long breath out. Let's take one more deep breath in here. As you exhale, release your hands to your mat. You can walk your feet a little bit closer together or to touch. Press through your right foot and lift your left leg. doesn't have to be high. If you feel like you're ready for a standing leg split, go for it. I do not feel like I am ready for a standing leg split. Okay, so lifting through your right leg, your standing leg, and simply extending through the left leg, you can keep the forward fold, let your head drop. Take a really big inhale. Then as you exhale, drop that left foot back behind you, bring your left knee down, untuck your left toes, coming into your kneeling lunge. Just pause for a moment, get a sense of this. You can pad your left knee if there's any kind of discomfort there. You can bring your hands to your right knee and pause here. You can take your hands behind your head, elbows wide, and start to find a little bit of a back bend. No rush. Grounded through your right foot. Not a lot of weight in the left knee. Breathing in and breathing up. Take a big inhale, and a big exhale. On your next inhale, reach your hands up, and as you exhale, bring your hands to your mat. Left foot steps to meet your right. Front edge of your mat, stick in a halfway lift. Long spine, big inhale, fold forward, exhale. Now your left foot standing, hands on your mat or blocks, lift your right leg. You can Drop into the forward fold as you lift your right leg. You might stay in more of a halfway lift. Again, if you feel like you're ready for the standing leg split, go for it. But take your time. So really notice what you feel ready for. Notice what feels good. Or notice if you're in your head and just pushing because you think you should. Take a big breath in. And as you exhale, drop that right foot back behind you. Bring your right knee down, untuck your right toes. Adjust where you have your left foot as needed. And you can pad your right knee here. And then bringing your hands to your left knee. And getting a sense of this. Not a lot of weight in the right knee. Soften your toes. Once more, taking your hands behind your head. If you like a different variation, you can work with that here. Left knee moves forward. Hips move forward. Heart lifts. Breathe in, breathe up. And sometimes you don't really feel like you're ready for your practice. We can do a lot to avoid getting on to our mats. That's when we need it the most, I think. So here you are. Here we are. 
right here, right now. You are ready. You are showing up. On your inhale, hands reach up. And as you exhale, bring your hands down to your mat. Step back to your downward facing dog. Coming into your downward dog, spread your fingers wide. Let your head hang down. Maybe a little bit of movement here. You can walk out your dog. Move your head or your hips around. Take a big breath in. And a long breath out. And from here, walk your hands back towards your feet. Hips stay high, strong core. Feet together or apart. Come on up to stand. Set your feet so you have a steady foundation. Rising up, reach up, and draw your hands to your heart. Set your gaze. Lower your gaze or close your eyes. And you can set an intention if that feels right for you today. And together, let's take a big breath in. And a long breath out. On your inhale, sweep up and reach up. Fold forward, exhale. Halfway lift, flat back, inhale. Bring your hands to your mat and walk yourself out to your high push-up, high plank. Knees can be lifted or lowered here. Take a big inhale, move forward. Halfway down or all the way down, low push-up. A big breath in. Upward facing dog, your cobra or your low cobra. And as you exhale, back to your downward facing dog. Set your gaze or close your eyes. And you can add in child's pose, any variations that feel right for you. Take a deep breath in. And a big breath out. Another big inhale here. And as you exhale, step or jump to the front. Halfway lift. Inhale, exhale, fold. Inhale, rise to stand. Lift and reach. Fold forward, exhale. Halfway lift, inhale. High push-up to low push-up. Exhale. Inhale. Upward facing dog. Exhale. Downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in. And a long breath out. Another big inhale. Exhale. Step or jump to the front. Halfway lift. Inhale. Exhale. Fold. Utkatasana, chair pose. Set your feet. Put a big bend to your knees. Wave your body a little more in your heels. Toes are soft. Hands can be higher at your heart. Lift your chest. Lengthen through the sides of your body. Let your heart lift. Take a big breath in. Fold forward. Exhale. Halfway lift. Inhale. High push up to low push up. Exhale. Inhale. Upward facing dog. Exhale. Downward facing dog. Right foot steps forward. Warrior one. Come up. Rise up. Reach up. Open out. Warrior two. Adjust your feet. Steady foundation. Palms to the sky. Take your right hand high. Reverse your warrior. Exhale. Hands down to your mat. High push up to low push up. Inhale. Upward dog. Exhale. Downward dog. Right foot steps again. Warrior one. Rise up. Open out. Warrior two. Take your right hand high. Reverse your warrior. Now side angle. Parsva Konasana. Right elbow on your right leg. Left arm up to the sky. You can stay with this variation. You can slide the bottom hand down and extend the top arm forward. Or you can add in your half bind or your full bind. Whatever variation you work with, feel it out in your body instead of trying to figure it out in your head. And... Again, feel that you're here. If you're not here, that's okay. You're off somewhere in your head. Come back. Feel your feet. Feel your fingers. Feel your breath. Take a big breath in. And a long breath out. A big inhale. And a big exhale. Whatever variation you are in, allow yourself to feel some gratitude. That you can be here. That you can do this. Right? Show up in this way and have this time for yourself. Reach your top arm back up. Let it bring you up to your warrior two. Straighten your right leg. Pivot your toes towards the side edge of your mat. Feet parallel or a little bit pigeon-toed. Interlace your fingers at your low back. Maybe a towel or strap between your hands. Shoulders roll back. Heart lifts. A big inhale. Fold forward as you exhale. Hands come up and over. Nice rinse for your shoulders. Any distraction that comes up, you can rinse that out too. Take a big breath in 
and a long breath out. Another big inhale here. Exhale, release your hands. Hands under your shoulders, come halfway up, pivot around towards the back edge of your mat, left toes point to the back, right foot steps to meet your left. Halfway lift, inhale, exhale, fold. Utkatasana, chair pose. Sit down, sit back, reach up. Check in with your feet. A little more weight in your heels. Soften your shoulders, take a big inhale. Fold forward, exhale. Halfway lift, inhale. High push up to low push up, exhale. Inhale, upward facing dog, exhale. Downward facing dog, left foot steps forward. Warrior one, come up. Set your foundation, rise up, open out. Warrior two, you can add in some space between your feet. Let there be some space between your fingers and your toes. Spin your palms to the sky, left hand high. Reverse your warrior, reach up and go back. Keep that big bend in your front knee. Take a big inhale here, exhale, hands down to your mat. High push up to low push up. Inhale, upward dog, exhale, downward dog. Left foot again, warrior one, rise up. Open out, warrior two. Left hand high, reverse your warrior. Side angle, Parsva Konasana, your left elbow on your left leg, and your right arm up to the sky. Open up across the front of your body. Steady foundation, so you can open up and lift up and lighten up. And then again, options, bottom hand down, top arm forward, your half bind or your full bind, or a different variation entirely. With breath, a big breath in, and a long breath out. And breathe in, and breathe out. A big inhale, and a big exhale. Reach your top arm up, let it bring you up to your warrior two, straighten your left leg. Once more, pivot your toes to the side, hands to your hips or to your low back here. Lift on your inhale. You can find a, a bit of a standing back bend, maybe a lot of a standing back bend. And on your inhale, come to center. Exhale, fold forward. Hands under your shoulders. Halfway lift as you inhale. And then fold again. If you want to stick in a crow or a tripod, you can. You might walk your hands through your legs. You can add in some movement. Take a deep breath in. And a big breath out. Again, allowing yourself to feel some gratitude that you have this time, this body, this practice. Take a deep breath in. And a big breath out. I am really grateful. Hands under your shoulders come halfway up to have all of you to share this practice with me. From here, pivot back around towards the front end of your mat. Right toes point forward, left foot steps to meet your right. Halfway lift, inhale, exhale, fold. Inhale, rise to stand, lift and reach, fold forward, exhale. Halfway lift, inhale, high push up to low push up, exhale. Inhale, upward facing dog, exhale, downward facing dog. Bring your feet together a little bit forward, take your right leg to the sky. Bend your right knee for your down dog hip opener, and we'll set up for half pigeon. Right knee comes forward, left leg long behind you. You might set up the variation on your back. Maybe if you have some wiggle room for the right foot, maybe a little wiggle room for your hips. Big breath in, and as you exhale, lengthen and fold. Softening your fingers and your toes, feeling if there's tension, in your fingers or your toes and, and just having the space, right? noticing the tension you can soften. Again, if you're not here, if you're off somewhere in your head, noticing that doesn't have to be a big deal. They do have this space this time, so you can invite yourself to come back. Align yourself with some ease. Align yourself with your strength. Align yourself with gratitude. Take a big breath in. And a long breath out. And set your hands under your shoulders. Just a short half pigeon today. Back to your downward facing dog. A big breath in. And a long breath out. 
feet together and forward, left leg to the sky, bend your left knee, and make your way into your half pigeon on the side again. The variation on your back, if that works better. A right, little different on this side, a lot different. You can feel it out. Letting your spine lengthen. And one breath at a time. One practice at a time. Lengthening the amount of time that you can be present. Increasing what you can be grateful for. So cultivating gratitude. It is the month of November here. Thanksgiving later this month. And it's a little cheesy, but I'd like to spend these Monday motivations focusing on gratitude, cultivating gratitude. Just like any part of our practice, the more focus we give it, the more, the more it grows. Right? And the more we can find gratitude, not just on our mat, but off our mat as well. Take a deep breath in. Then a long breath out. One more big inhale. And a big exhale. Hands under your shoulders. Back to your downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in. And a long breath out. And then bring your knees down. Come on into your child's pose. If you prefer, you can set up a more traditional Shavasana. And you can take as much time as you like here at the end of our asana practice in child's pose or in traditional shavasana take a deep breath in then a long breath out taking as much time as you like before you move on with the rest of your day so really taking some time to integrate this practice into yourself so you carry it with you when you leave your mat. Again, I am very grateful to have all of you to share this practice with. Thank you for taking the time to practice with me today. Take care of yourself. Take care of each other. I'm Heather. I'm the Bent Yogi. And I'll see you soon. Uh -huh.